All right, now we're doing 8Q, find nearest square number. This is by Ria Kayal, and 90% of the people like it. Our task is to find the nearest square number uh, of a positive integer in. Good luck. All right. So basically, uh, let's say it comes out to 10. Let's say, let's say this in is 10, right? Somehow we're going to have to get 9 because that's the closest one. Same with uh, 111, we're going to have to get 121. So to do this, we're going to have to use a little mathematical logic. Uh, basically, what we would do in this case right here, we would say uh, the square root of 10, which would be uh, like, I don't even know, like 2 something, 2 point something. Uh, and then we would round it off to the nearest uh, integer, and that would be 3. And then we would square that, and it would get us 9, okay? And so let me show you. No, it would be 3 something, 3 point something. Anyway, regardless. And so let me show you what we're going to do to make that happen. All right. So let's set this up real quick. And for this, we're going to start with this math.square root. So math.square root function returns the square root of a number. Uh, there we go. Basically that. And then to do the rounding, we're going to do math.round, which uh, returns the value of a number rounded to the nearest integer, like I said. And then we're going to do math.pow, which is a static method uh, giving two arguments, base and exponent. And that's what that is. All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So first, for n, we're going to find the square root of it. So s, so math.square root n. Oops, n. Now we got to wrap that up in parentheses, and we're going to do math.round to round that number to the nearest integer. And then we're going to wrap this up in parentheses, and we're going to do the math.pow, math.pow. Now for the math.pow, let me show you the syntax that it uses. So first we're going to use the base here, then we're going to do comment, comma, exponent. So right now, this here is the base. So what we have to do is comma, and then the exponent is 2. All right? Now let's see if this works. And it does. Excellent. Attempt it. Great. Submit it. All right. Let's go to my solutions. Very much like this. Uh, just a few of us. Best practice, in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.